Dear social justice warriors and intersectional third wave feminists, you are starting to lose this battle. When even Barack Obama is going to colleges and speaking against the stuff that you're pushing forth, you know there's a problem. Sometimes, you know, there are folks on college campuses who are liberal and maybe even agree with me on a bunch of issues who sometimes aren't listening to the other side. I've heard some college campuses where they don't want to have a guest speaker who, you know, is too conservative. You know, I, I don't agree that you, when you become students at colleges, have to be coddled and protected from different points of view. Unless you're going to say, oh, Obama isn't really a liberal. And I guess to some degree, you could say that. But you certainly can't say that he's irrational and illogical and is a traditionalist. The only way you're going to get the viewpoints that you disagree with to go away is to show where they're wrong, if they're wrong, but you don't want to hear it. With the internet has come a new era of dealing with chaos. We are like rats in a cage. We're like rats in a cage when you put too many rats in that cage. And it's not the physical space element. It's dealing with so many different mindsets. And with the internet, we've increased that by a 50-fold. This is why some of you are pushing forth for these safe spaces. Well, you're going to have to be stronger than that. If you're going to shove forth viewpoints that are very radically disconnected from what most people think like, you're going to have to put up with some chaos. The more diversity, the more chaos. The more diversity of mindset, the more chaos, particularly in this age of the internet. So again, when Barack Obama is speaking against what some of you are doing, you gotta realize you're approaching this in a damaging and destructive way. What you are doing is taking anyone who was riding the fence on a lot of these issues and they're going to the side of traditionalists. You are creating traditionalists by not being willing to have actual discussions and debates and conversations with those you disagree with or those who you consider to have a dinosaur kind of mindset, you are creating traditionalists. You are doing the opposite of what your goals are. And now so many places are cashing in on this. Your mindset is being marketed. You've got the BuzzFeeds and the MTVs. you got the MSNBCs. And you think you have so many people on your side. But what you don't seem to realize is how many people you've alienated. You seem to have no clue. Or you don't care how many people you've alienated. Some of you take the mindset of, well, if you don't agree with me, then you were never a liberal in the first place. The outcome of what you've been doing doesn't seem to matter to you or you're completely oblivious to it. As a gay man, or at least a 4.5 on the Kinsey, I'm terrified of this country heading backwards in time. Terrified of this. I wasn't scared of this sort of thing happening until I realized how batshit crazy some of the left has become. How rabid some people have become about this. You just have to look at Trigglypuff and all the people who think like her. 
to know how crazy this has gotten. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. There is no action that right-wingers have done recently to make you be so extreme. You're not reacting to something. You're causing an action. And the reaction is going to be ugly. And you can't seem to see it. And you're just going to blame it on people whom you think are closed-minded. On people who you want to label as misogynistic and racist and homophobic and transphobic and sexist. You don't accept any criticism. You don't accept any debate. To you, none of this stuff is up for debate. But guess what? When people don't agree with you, debate is the only way you're going to get them to see your way. And if the only way that you can get people to see your way is if they read a bunch of propaganda literature, it's not going to go well for you. And you know what that means when it doesn't go well for you? It means it's not going to go well for all the people that you say that you support. It's not going to go well for gay people. It's not going to go well for women. It's not going to go well for trans people. It's not going to go well for black people. It's not going to go well for any of the people that you claim that you are standing up for. It's not going to go well for them. It's not going to go well for barely any of us. And here you are continuing to push this as more and more people join this cult. People who were normally reasonable thinkers are just giving up their free thinking and rationality and logic to an ideology that will fail. And when it fails, everyone loses. Because the individual pushes by those who match the demographics that you're trying to defend no longer have their own platform. You've taken over their platforms. They're not able to speak for themselves anymore. You've taken it all over. There is no gay activism anymore. It's all social justice warriorism. There's no black activism anymore unless you go for some of the, the more extreme elements of it. Social justice warriorism has taken over it. There's no push for women to be strong and to be able to get past this stuff. Social justice warriorism, warriorism has taken over all of this. And when it falls, so do all of the individual things that used to be here for the people. And you don't give a flying fuck. You're just going to label everyone who disagrees with you as racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, or transphobic. You don't care. You don't give a flying fuck. And you don't care that the result of this will be a, a huge return of traditionalism. A huge return of religion starting to make its way back into the government again. You don't care. You care about your goddamn microaggressions. You care about people being politically correct. And then you label anyone who wants to actually talk about subjects the way that they really happen and how things are really going on. You label them as insensitive and mean and cruel. And they're not even saying anything mean to you. You're equating microaggressions with actual bullying. You're destroying the English language. You're destroying debate. You're destroying conversations. You're leaving a path of destruction everywhere you go. And you're going to sit there and act like you have the moral high ground? Yes, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of what the outcome of this is going to be. You want to bring us back to the 1950s? You say you don't, but that's exactly what you're doing. For every action is an equal and opposite reaction. But you threw away science. You threw away logic. 
You threw away reason. All to be replaced with an ideology that's like a cult. And so many great thinkers of this time are now part of this cult. Congratulations.